Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for July. Okay, so keep that in mind. This is for July. Could happen at any time in July. What do we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What do we have for Gemini? You will be playing a different role. Horse, short journey. You're going to be taking a journey. You're going to be playing a different role than you are playing right now. So let's get a couple of these. Something about two weeks from now. So something is going to happen two weeks from now, two weeks from the date that you watch it. Ooh, we got a spark. We got a spark. We have a match. So something is about to get lit up. We got a match here um on fire so two weeks from now things are about to spark there's going to be a spark new start this starts the you know this starts the the passion or whatever it is something is about to happen two weeks from now <clears throat> you're going to be playing a different role now i don't know some of you this may have to do with a younger man, if that's what you're into. Anyhow, so let's see what we got. What do we got? Could be somebody that is lighting something up. Let's get one of these. What do we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? I consider that the Ace of Wands kind of like. So that's a fresh start, starting from scratch. Just go for it. What do we have for Gemini? That's all of a sudden as well. And now we have Temperance. So Temperance is a card of reason. It's a card of purpose. Blending to create harmony. Going with the flow. Accepting change. Now Temperance comes after the Death card. So something is obviously ending that you will need to accept. Um, it looks like we have an argument here. There's a need for resolution. Okay. There's a need to work together. You take a look at that. It looks like we have, we, this is like a need to compromise. You may need to make some compromises uh, within the next two weeks. You could also be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, stubbornness. There's a lot of stubbornness here. There's a need to compromise. You need to make some sort of compromises. You're going to have to make a compromise. You may have to open up a little bit. If you want peace and harmony and you want to work together with whoever this person is, you're going to have to make some compromises by the looks of things. Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is an ending. It is the end. Okay, this could be the end of suffering. This is a mental or physical collapse. Could be a breakdown. This is the death of a situation. So something is coming to an end, or it has come to an end. High Priestess. So intuit, intuition, you, some of you could be dealing with somebody that is very spiritual, or that could be your in energy. There's a It's a time of observation, reflecting, going within, listening to your gut. Uh, you could also be dealing with somebody, like I said, that is very, very spiritual. This is an intuitive. We have somebody here that is highly intuitive. Page of Wands in reversed. Let's get the rest of these cards. The Star card. 
Queen of Wands, Fool reversed, Six of Wands reversed, Knight of Swords, and Four of Pentacles reversed. One more. Let's get the, let's get an overall energy here. Let's just look on the bottom. Queen of Swords reversed on the bottom. So it looks to me as though <clears throat> excuse my throat. Communication is needed. There's difficulty in communication here. Queen of Swords reversed. There's harshness. There's bitterness. There's a need to communicate. There's a need to uh, give up some sort of stance, which is really hard to do, I know. Um, something has ended in the past that really, 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 really hurt you. It may have been something that you really wished for, you prayed for, you thought it was your wish fulfillment, but you didn't win. You know, you didn't get it. You didn't get it for some reason. It, you lost the battle. Somehow you lost the battle and there's been a lot of pain. There's been a lot of suffering. You thought you were going to get it. You thought this was it. Everything happens for a reason. Temperance is a card of reason. Okay, you, you, you may be in a place where you're bitter and you're upset and you're angry. Um, but everything, there's a purpose. There's a reason why everything's hap everything happens. Two weeks from now, there's going to be a new flame. There's going to be a new spark. There's going to be a change in two weeks, two weeks from now. I feel like you, you know that something better is coming. I feel like there is something coming in that is very, very passionate, that is well suited for you. This is exciting. It could have to do with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I think that things will change very, very suddenly. There will be a sudden spark or a, a sudden attraction or whatever this is. Um, I think that you are in a position of power as we speak. I think it's time for you to go within. You may need to go within and reflect on whatever it is that has hurt you in the past that has caused you so much pain. I feel like you need to continue to pray. You need to continue to... Um, you know, uh, be positive. Everything happens for a reason. Think positive. Think positive. Think positive. Don't let this this painful uh, betrayal or whatever happened uh, keep you down. You may have lost something that wasn't meant for you. Um, I think that's what happened. I think that you you were in some sort. You were you may have been trying to win somebody over that you know. It feels like you were trying to win something. You were trying to win somebody over that uh, isn't the best match for you or something like that. What is this star card reverse? I mean star card underneath the Ten of Swords. This is like, this is rejection is protection. This The star card is protection. It's protection. You were protected. You were protected from somebody. You were. But this suffering is going to come to an end. Two weeks from now, your prayers are going to be answered in some way. There's some prayer that is going to be answered in two weeks from now. Um, I feel like you planted some seeds a long time ago. They haven't come to fruition, but they are about to come to fruition. Somebody is about to open up to you. Um, Somebody is going to come in out of nowhere. Uh, I feel like it's it, this is this comes it really comes in out of nowhere. This is somebody that um, has has come up with some sort of strategy. Um, this is rushing in. Somebody is going to be rushing into your life. This is somebody that is very very passionate, very very attractive, very exciting. This is uh, I feel like it's a fire sign. I think I didn't say that already. Fire sign: Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person is uh, maybe it's your divine counterpart or whatnot. Um, if this is not relationship wise, you are going to be receiving an opportunity that is very, very exciting. It's something that you asked for, but it comes after a rejection. You have been rejected by somebody or, or something that has really, 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 really hurt you. In two weeks from now, you're about to find out why. You're going to find out the reason. And I think that you're going to have to let down your guard. You're going to have to let down your stance and open up. The last card out is the four of pentacles that is open up don't be so stubborn don't be so you know upright this is very stubborn i'm protecting i'm holding on i'm not giving anything you need to give you need to give 
Um, the Fool reversed is right above that. So that is uh, unfinished business. I think there is somebody that you have dealt with. I think this is, there's somebody that you know that you've known for some time that you have some unfinished business with that is probably coming back around. Um, totally unexpected as well. Something is gonna come rushing in. It's not over yet. Um, this is somebody that may be a little bit younger than you. Did we already talk about this? We did, we did, we, we did. I feel like this person is a little bit younger than you. May even have to do with a child. There is something that is happening. Um, you may sense it. You may have been sensing that something is coming back around. Something is. Um, making an approach. Somebody is going to be making an approach towards you. This is somebody that may have missed an opportunity with you. They may have missed an opportunity. They may have let fear get in the way. That's why they didn't open up to you. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's difficulty in communication. I haven't had this at all. So there's, there's, that's the throat chakra. So there's communication. There's difficulty in communication. There's been a lack of communication. And I feel like the lack of communication is what's going to uh, stir things up. Okay. Um, happiness is right around the corner. This is a new beginning. This is a breakthrough. This is a life-giving energy. This is warmth. This is happiness, joy, bliss. You're going to be in a state of bliss. You're, this is a new beginning. It is a renewal. You're going to be receiving something. You are. You're going to be receiving some sort of well, it's a new it's a new spark, it's a new flame, it's a new exciting opportunity two weeks from now with somebody that is well suited for you. It's totally unexpected. This is this is somebody that is very um adventurous, okay? Somebody that is adventurous, somebody that is powerful, somebody that um has a lot of high confidence, maybe very spiritual as well. We have an individual here that is definitely taking action they are taking action they are moving in a new direction extremely fast they're headed towards you somebody is headed towards you they are going to be communicating with you they got something to say they got to do it they've they've they may have been intimidated but for some reason that's why they didn't move forward or they were they were very very stubborn they may have been holding on to a situation for financial reasons they were staying put um, but there's been a loss here this person is feeling at a loss whoever is coming towards you um, may feel that they have lost you in some way they may feel like you are wish wish fulfillment and you know now they're coming in your direction timing is everything temperance is a card of timing so i feel like the time it's time it's time um I feel as though you are vibrating at a very high level, a very, very, very high level during this time. I feel like everybody can feel your energy. They can really feel it. We get the High Priestess next to the Queen of Wands. So I feel like you are vibrating at a very high energy. You are highly intuitive. You are receiving a lot of downloads, a lot of messages. This is like a visionary. Okay, I feel like you're getting a lot of visions. Your intuition is really speaking to you, especially through visions, especially through, you know, you're getting visions. Um, you're getting a lot of uh, communication as well, a lot of messages. So not only vision, but a lot of intuitive messages. So that's, this is like very very really listen to your gut during this time because you are you're 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 highly intuitive at this time um i do believe that 
you have somebody around you that is very, very negative. You're going to be dealing with somebody that is a negative Nelly that never has anything good to say. This person may try to bring you down. They may live in a state of fear. This person may be fearful. They may not be very spiritual. They're not a free spirit like you are. You may need to uh, just not listen to them. Just listen to your gut, you know. I do believe that you have a negative Nelly around you. This person may be miserable and misery loves company. So keep that in mind. You may need to um, stop giving this person your energy. Um, definitely high vibration with this sun card as well. You are vibrating at a very high level. You're going to be receiving some very, very good news. Things are about to open up for you. Um, this is, uh, you can relax. You can relax with the Four of Pentacles. It's, it's time to let go. It's time to stop being so stubborn. Maybe you're fearful and you need to step outside of your fear and step into unknown territory. It feels like you're receiving an offer from somebody that, um, <clears throat> I don't know if this person rejected you in the past and they want another chance. Maybe they're coming back and, and they want you to give them a chance. This person comes out of nowhere. Maybe you sensed it was coming though. I feel like you did. I feel like you, you've sensed that this person was going to come around. I do believe that they are going to come around. Um, making a very fast approach. It feels like this person is about to, somebody is about to open up communication with you. Um, they may have, they've missed an opportunity. They've missed an opportunity. They may have been suffering or something like that. We definitely have a short journey here as well. Divinely guided. You are divinely guided to go do something. There's something that you need to do and you need to be positive. You need to think positive. You need to open up. Your wish is going to be granted. Have faith. Believe. Believe it. Your wish is going to be granted. Stop thinking so negative. If something doesn't work out, it doesn't work out for a reason. You have a beautiful new beginning here. Something absolutely beautiful. This is bright. This is a bright new day. It's a bright new beginning. It's a life-giving energy. This is a yes answer. You are you are going to you are looking really good during this time. You are attracting something that is at your same vibration. You are very 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 attractive. You could be dealing with, I feel like you're dealing with another fire sign, like I said. It could also be an Aquarius. Opening up. Things are about to change. I feel like there is somebody here that there's something that is ending. It's something that you wished for. It's something that you prayed for, whatever. And, and maybe maybe you didn't pray for it in that sense, but everything turns out as it should. I feel like you've been praying for an end of suffering. You've been praying. You've been praying for something to end. And maybe it's loneliness. You've been praying for something to end. Something is going to end. It is. You've also been dealing, whoever, you may have also been praying for somebody to stop hurting you. This is a one hit wonder. This is somebody that has no staying power. This is somebody that is very smug and cocky that has caused you a lot of suffering. Some of you may have been praying that this person would change. I don't, I, you know, I feel like, I feel like you are about to get some sort of news that, uh, this is a shock. The Knight of Wand, the Knight of Swords can absolutely be a shock. Everything happens for a reason. Something is about to happen that uh, really changes your thought process. It changes your uh, focus, put it that way. This is a new day. This is a breakthrough. It's a new beginning. 
It's extremely exciting. I feel like you have somebody here that has missed an opportunity for you that really, really hurt you, that really is, is uh, wanting to heal. They're wanting to heal a connection with you. I feel like there's going to be a conversation with somebody that is going to be rough. I think it's going to be a rough conversation. But I feel like you're in a position of power. I feel like this person wants you to give them a chance. They have missed an opportunity. They are going to be opening up. There's going to be increased communication. Um, this person may have not. They may have procrastinated. They procrastinated for some reason. We have foolish behavior with the full reverse. Somebody has acted foolishly. They held on to something for financial reasons, but now they're letting it go because it's not well suited for them. Whoever you're dealing with, is a scared okay with the page of wands reverse and the fool reverse is scared and you may be scared you may be scared to open up to this person because of a previous betrayal that you've had we have serious betrayal here with that first card out being the ten of swords you have been wishing and hoping and praying praying for something to end praying for some sort some sort of victory and it hasn't come yet but i feel like it's coming Two weeks from now, two weeks from now, there is something that is about, that is going to happen that is really going to set things on fire, put it that way. This is a spark. It is a new flame. It is a match. This is, this is uh, exciting. It is very, very, very exciting. It's all part of the script. Everything happens for a reason. The suffering that happened has taught somebody a lesson. Now there's help arriving. Something is arriving that you wished for. You're going to need to have faith. You're going to need to step forward with faith. Think positive instead of negative. Everything happens for a reason. This is positive energy. This is very positive. This is yes. This is yes. Very high vibrational at this time. What do we have for Gemini? Nine of Cups reversed. Five of Swords reversed. I just want to be happy. Nine of Wands. Somebody wants you to give them a chance. Deep fulfillment is coming. I feel like you've been growing weary. You've been wounded. You're also dealing with somebody that has been wounded. This person... Uh, may have walked away or they may have pushed you away. Um, they do see you as wish fulfillment for some reason. They, they couldn't step forward. Maybe it was because of ego. Maybe it was because of pride. Maybe they had a lot going on wherever they were at or they were in a situation where they had a lot of belongings, you know. Um, they had a lot going on. This is somebody that is definitely very cocky. We all get cocky once in a while. There is somebody that has, it is really, really egotistical. Nine of Cups reversed, Five of Swords reversed, Six of Wands reversed. That's, that's very egotistical. This person may want another chance. They may have pushed you away or you pushed them away because they're very uh, arrogant. We definitely have arrogance here. This person now wants a chance, you know, and you may have your guard up. You may need to give them a chance, you know. I mean, I feel like uh, you. one more chance, one more chance. We have somebody here that I feel like wants to come back around and they want you to give them a chance. It could be a child. It could be, <clears throat> excuse me, there's communication issues. You've been not really communicating with this person very much. 
there's been a communication barrier. But this person is about to step it up, put it that way. They are definitely about to step it up. This person may want to fight the competition. Six of Wands reverse right next to the Knight of Swords. They may see the competition. That's why they're opening up. You know, they're coming in. They're coming in fast because of some sort of competition. They're going to lose if they don't. Because you are, you are so, I don't know if, what it is, but the Queen of Wands, that's very attractive, very, very vibrating at a high level, very, um, well, in a position of power. So I feel like you're in a position where, you know, you are really uh, strong. You're in a very strong position and beautiful, you know, male or female. I mean, you're really looking good. You're feeling good. And so I think that's what's draw. You're drawing people in. And I feel like that this person, whoever this person is that is coming in, sees that. And they want a chance. They want a chance with you. They were foolish. They may say they were foolish. They just want to be happy. They don't want to fight anymore. We also we also have uh, hostilities here. You know, this is the end of hostilities. We have somebody here that is wishing that they're wishing that they never walked away or they wishing that you would come back or something like that or they they're very unhappy right now we have somebody here the nine of cups reversed that's very unhappy they're wishing that they that they never uh did what they did next to the five of swords reversed they're wishing that they they never did what they did and they want another chance And there is an opportunity here. There is an opportunity, but because we have the, we basically have the Ace of Wands three times, you know, it's not, this is like a fresh start, starting from scratch. This is exciting. Just go for it. Um, take this chance. Whoever you're dealing with has been in a situation where they have uh, been pretending to be happy. They've been abused. They've been mentally abused, verbally abused. It's almost like they've been living in some sort of nightmare. Extremely hostile situation. But I feel like this hostile situation is coming to an end. I feel like you've come a long way. You may have your guard up. Somebody wants you to give them a chance. And I, my advice would say, you know, this, there's nothing left to prove. This is a, you know, it's like it's a lose situation because with Six of Wands reverse, Five of Swords reverse, it's like there's no need to fight. There's no need to fight anymore. And somebody may say that, I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. Or I just... You know, I want to work this out. Can we give it another chance? Can we try this? Can we start over? You know, starting over, starting over from scratch. I feel like there is somebody that has missed an opportunity with you that it wants you to give them a chance. They may want to give you an offer and they want you to give them a chance in some way. Two weeks from now, you're going to be put in a position where you have to make a decision and you're going to have to, you know, uh, compromise, maybe make some compromises. I mean, you know, take a look at that. There's, I feel like there is somebody here that has made you angry. They have done something to you that has made you not trust them. And I think they're, they... You know, there's a chance to come back together and work together with this person if you can make some compromises. And they can, and I think that, that that you can. I think you both can. So, yeah, I would say get prepared for an approach. Somebody is going to make an approach. They are going to communicate with you. Uh, they're about to open up with you. This person has made some sort of foolish mistake because of pride. It looks like it's because of pride or ego or something like that 
but now they they are going to face some sort of opposition and they want to give it another chance and i i don't know what the circumstance is for you but i'm sure that you do good luck